Hello, little fifth graders. Today we shall write our second paragraph for our narrative from the passage, The Sword and the Stone. Remember our topic, rewrite the story from Merlin's point of view. Base your story on the details in the text, but include your own ideas as well. So today, we are going to write our second paragraph. We've already written our first paragraph, where we did the beginning, where we established the setting and the main characters. Now it's time for paragraph two, which would be the main events of the story, at least five sentences again, the main events and the action. Of course, you can have action in the first paragraph. You can have action in the third paragraph. Uh, your characters and setting are going to be in all the paragraphs as well. Paragraph one, you just established them. Paragraph two would be sort of the main events of the story. Let me give you an example. But you must understand that you cannot copy my idea. Because I will give you a zero. All right. If you would, uh, if you wish to read the first paragraph over, pause the video and do that now. Now let's move on to the next paragraph, which spills over into One night, I saw this short, skinny kid walking in the woods. Even though he looked like a wimp, I knew in my great wisdom that he would be king. Therefore, I taught him everything he needed to know about being a great leader as I walked him home. After this, with my magic wizard powers, I looked into the future and discovered that this wimpy kid would be walking by the sword in the stone next week. I decided to loosen the sword the day before because I knew he would be too weak to pull it out. So there you go. Easy. Keep it simple, but at the same time be creative. And don't forget to use some details from the passage as well. Now, quit looking at me and get to work on your second paragraph. Man, get out of my face. 